Hello YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers review. This time we're going to take a look at Vortex from the Transformers Fall of Cybertron G2 Bruticus set. So this is yet another configuration that I've put Bruticus in here. And in this format I've put Brawl down here at the uh, leg, left him at the leg. I've put Vortex down here as a leg, which he actually makes a very nice leg. I really dig that. I put Blastoff up here as an arm, back as an arm, but I've altered it so that it's not as long where it kind of comes up. You can actually monkey around with the configuration, and if you use only half of his hand there, um, it does look better from the front end. It doesn't look so kind of apish. And then, of course, we have Swindle as the other arm. So this is an okay configuration. I don't mind this con configuration. Uh, it's it's decent. I really do dig Vortex as the leg here. I think he looks really cool. Vortex looks good as both a leg and as an arm. And I think Swindle actually looks a lot better as an arm than he does a leg. Uh, well, I don't know. He, does, he looks really really good at both as well. So yes, yet another configuration. Let's take a look at Vortex himself, shall we? All right, so here we have Vortex in his leg mode. This is what he looks like as a leg. He kind of reminds me of a cast or something. I don't know. Uh, just really kind of funny looking. He also um, can be converted into an arm that we've seen. All you have to do is flip it open. Um, you're going to pull the hand out. You want to close this guy up and then flip it back around. And now we have a hand. And of course, you want to pull this down here. So we have Vortex as one of Bruticus's arms. And you can actually want to flip it around this way. So it's like this so that we have his hand. Well, it depends on which arm that you're or which side you're going to put on you can rotate around and kind of pick really which one you want so yeah i mean he looks pretty decent either way i really like him in the arm mode because you can flip out his oh come on now spin this thing it's all stiff and new you can spin the blades out and that looks pretty cool sitting on the arm itself um or you can just tie it up like that depends on how you want to do it but yeah Either appendage mode looks really good. Let's take a look at this guy in his uh, helicopter mode and see what we think. All right, so here we have good old Vortex in his helicopter mode. It's not going to stick down here. Urgh, work, you bum. Do that. Okay, so yeah, here he is in his helicopter mode, and he does look cool. I love, he's probably one of my favorite figures uh, from this set. Mainly because I like the color scheme. I like the the big windshield. The purple and the blue look really good together. And he has these massive, massive uh, G2 Decepticon logos, which look really nice. Now, the issue I'm having with this particular figure is it does not want to snap on right. There we go. Actually, and it, of course, it makes me a liar uh, when I say that. Uh, but yeah, it looks just really nice. I like the helicopter mode. His swords uh, kind of look pretty decent. Little add-ons there. Um, helicopter blade spins pretty good. And, you know, he, he just it just all around looks pretty decent. We've got a little bit of um, appendage there, but that's okay. Um, underneath it's not all that great, but yeah, we'll, we'll deal with it. We'll work with it. But all in all, pretty good. It just looks really nice. That light blue, that powder blue with the dark purple and the black, just for some reason for me, really, really works. I'm really digging it. So, um, yeah, I can't really complain much about this one. It looks it looks more like a helicopter than Swindle in his ATV mode, for sure. So let's look at this guy in his robot mode and see what we think. All right, so here we have Vortex in his robot mode, and it's not too bad looking. Um, I do like the detail on the face. I think it looks really good. His chest plate looks nice. Um, he's got this um, kind of almost a Beast Wars style apron going on around his uh, waist there, which is kind of odd, but it's all right. It works. We've got a lot of helicopter parts hanging off the back, and... Um, his feet are just pretty much the front end of the helicopter. Um, 
can we adjust these maybe? Possibly. Alright, yeah, we can move these in. Yeah, that's just guy stiff. And that's something I've noticed with this figure. It's it's so stiff. There we go. Um, so that looks a little bit better there. It's so stiff that you're, you're almost afraid to break the thing. Um, articulation, I mean, he's got his knee joints here. He's on ball joints, so he can get in decent um, poses. He's got a ball joint up here. He's got a little swivel joint there and a little ratchet joint. But his elbows are so, so tiny. So that's kind of strange. And he's got these nice big Decepticon logo uh, just kind of hanging off there. Uh, we don't have anything there. And, of course, his helicopter blade is just kind of hanging out there. And if you don't have the weapon in there, it kind of kind of just kind of flops around. So he's best to have his little weapon to kind of keep it steady there. But surprisingly, it doesn't hamper posability that much, which is kind of nice. Uh, all in all, I mean, he looks pretty good. He's very, very purple in robot mode, which kind of surprised me. I really didn't expect that much purple out of him, but it is uh, based off the G2 figure. Uh, the head sculpt is really nice. I like his head sculpt a lot better than I did Swindle's head sculpt. So the robot mode is decent. I prefer the helicopter mode for sure, and he's definitely one of the better appendages on the figure. By far, so far, one of my favorite figures individually. Uh, from the Bruticus set. So thanks for watching and look for more videos in the future. Hey, how you doing?